Dr. Karen Kaysen, I'll tell you what, are you as pissed off about this crap? And you as a proud black lady with all the racial crap going on down there, the hit pieces they don't send there, that they send up to Belleville and vice versa. What's your take on all this? Bob, I am very upset. And um, especially when I found out that there was a hit piece put out on uh, my daughter, uh, LaNinia Kaysen, who's running for circuit judge. And I received all these calls from people and they were upset. Because they received a hit piece from um, Bob Lachine, and ironically, it was just above the hill. They didn't send the hit pieces below well, the hill. Well, hell no, they won't. And uh, but because they don't think you black folks can read, they don't respect you black folks. But you all know that. So go ahead. Well, we received. Um, I know I received about thirty or forty calls, and they were from people that lived above the hill, and they were upset. Um, they were upset about it. So I felt I needed to come and um, discuss this hit piece and give my own audio or verbal hit piece as it pertains to Bob Lachine. Go right ahead, Doc. Okay, first of all, you know, we're talking about um, the lowest ratings in history. That's what he had on that. La Nina A, you're no angel. Well, Bob Lachine... You are no angel either. And He's more like a devil to Lachine me. means dog in French, so you are a dog, the lazy dog. And I'm looking at um, integrity. You gave uh, her requirements as, and let me say this, these um, ratings were from their lawyers. Well, sure. Lawyers that they control. Lawyers that give big monies toward their re-elections. Lawyers who get what they want when they go before the courts. These are ratings that lawyers that Bob Sprague, um, Kern, and Barry Civic, and other uh, lawyers control. I want to say as far as meets requirements of office, um... Mr. Lachine, you get zero because, number one, they have substituted um, cases. Barry Civic does not give you any cases anymore. He has um, substituted um, different parties, have substituted, asked that you be substituted. They didn't want you on their case 38 times in 102 days. And then recently, in recent days, he has had to substitute you six times because nobody wants to appear before you. So if you're not there and nobody, you don't have any cases, where are you? At the uh, horse races or sitting at the video poker at the casino queen? As far as integrity, you get zero. Because you resigned. And then you turn around and decided to run again because you knew that you couldn't get 60% of the votes because nobody has any confidence in you. So you decided to resign. Resign and go and play the horses. Resign and go and get on the uh, video poker. You are not doing anything up in the county. As far as impartiality, you get zero because you are controlled by Sprague, Kern, Barry Civic, and other lawyers. As far as legal ability, you get zero because you, nobody wants to appear before you in court. As far as temperament, you get zero. As far as court management, you get zero because you're never there. So I just wanted to give you your ratings, Bob Lachine. And I also want to ask everybody to get a copy of the Madison St. Clair record uh, on Friday. There's going to be an article, and you can get the articles free. You can get it at Walgreens in Belleville, or you can get it at the East St. Louis Public Library. Because the Illinois Civil Justice League has rated St. Clair County Chief Judge John Barry Civic and Circuit Judges Bob Lachine and Bob Hader, Hader as not recommended. 
saying the judges who faced an uphill battle in an effort to get 60% voter approval in a retention election instead, quote unquote, purposely gained the system, unquote, by opting to run for election. And it further states that instead of running for retention, they circumvented the process by turning in their resignations and they filed as candidates in the March 15th primary where they only needed a simple majority. And the uh, Illinois Civil Justice League said that it's critical that the voters in St. Clair County are aware of this unethical maneuver that these judges ignored the intent and the spirit of the Illinois Constitution and they are deemed not recommended. Dr. Karen Kaysen defending her daughter as any good mother would, but defending her daughter the right way with the facts, not the fiction that St. Clair County Democratic culture corruption is putting on. Dr. Kaysen, thank you very much. I know you're pissed. I'm pissed. I hope everybody in St. Clair County's pissed.